Yeah, I well, appreciate y'all be, all uh, being here today. I uh, think it's great for our program. You know, media day kind of gets some recognition now. You know, talking about the offense, you know, of course, everybody knows we were really, really good on offense last year. We got, a, you know, some pieces left and a lot of turnover and stuff. But uh, I'm really excited about the guys that we have in here, uh, players-wise, and the coaching staff we have. Coach Elton's done a great job of assembling a staff that works together, a lot of continuity. And, um, you know, frankly, we're going to just try and put our guys in the best position to be successful and score enough points to win the game, whatever that might be. Yeah, you know, um, is there pressure? Of course. You know, I think with any job you have, whether it be in college football or any, any job, taking over something that was successful, absolutely there's pressure. Um, but then again, I go back to, you know, the staff that I have and the head coach that I work for and the, and the players that we get to coach, it kind of eases that pressure a little bit, you know. Um, so do I want to be as successful as we were last year? Yeah, everybody, everybody wants to. Do I want to be even more successful? Yes. But at the end of the day, uh, the pressure is scoring enough points to win the game. Well, you know, both of those guys, man, they're they're both studs, and they're both really, really good at, at different things. You know, really good at similar things. But both those guys, you know, they've played a lot of ball. Uh, they're great leaders. They're talented. They have command of the offense when they're out on the field. And so, you know, both of those guys just it's a it's a joy again to coach them and watch them compete every day. And you know, when there's a decision made, um, you know, that'll be. More, you know, whenever Coach Helton's ready to name it, um, you know, me and him will talk about it and everything. But, you know, like you said, he does, he does have the final say. And so we're going to let those guys, you know, duke it out, compete and battle because those two guys pushing each other every day, at the end of the day, they're both going to get a whole lot better because they have each other. Coach, I'm up with Muhammad Mark from WDKO. Good to meet you. Touching on competition, Coach Helton said some other positions on offense we're going to see competition are at offensive line, wide receiver. What have you kind of seen from that? What can we kind of expect? Yeah, you know, so I think each coach has done a really good job. Position coach has done a really good job of making their room better, you know, bringing in other guys to compete with guys. You know, we had players last year who were a big player, a big part of our offense. And, you know, we our job is to try and kind of out-recruit the guys we have to create that competition. And, you know, every position, whether it be receiver, running back, you know, quarterback, you know, offensive line, we're looking, you know, still trying to fill some spots there. Also, you know, with the competition, quarterback, you know. So, um, you know, at receiver, you know, ultimately there's about four positions there. And I think we got, you know, seven or eight guys who are worthy of stepping out there and playing. It's up to them to, you know, kind of determine – uh, which one of them is going to get out there. So it's just showing up every day. You know, at tight end, you know, we have we have three really, really good tight ends. One of them sitting right here. Uh, we plan to utilize all of them. And those two, you know, those three guys, they all compete with each other too. So every day it's just watching them show up um, and deciding that day, I'm going to be the best one on the field today. Coach Maxwell Trey from WNKY. Uh, it seemed like last year the running game was very interesting in the way that it worked in the system. I mean, you have Billy Zappi, so pretty much had a great way of getting to those offensive weapons. But how do you see the run game being impacted this year? Well, um, I think in football, I think if you have the ability to run the ball, it makes everything a whole lot easier for everyone. And with the offensive line coach we have and the offensive linemen and the tight ends and running backs we have, I see it being a really big part. And, you know, I think that's how you make yourself successful. You commit to the run game. Whenever you do decide to run the ball, make sure your assignment's sound. We know where we're going and move the ball down the field. The run game, I love it. I think it makes everything easier for everyone. Yeah, no, they, they deserve every bit of it, you know. Um, developments that I've seen, you know, Rusty, he, he, he's kind of made the offense his own. You know, last year, you know, I wouldn't say he was just the premier leader on the team, but he really, you know, took that step as I, I, he believes he's the best player on the offense, you know, in which that confidence is what you want, want in a leader. And so he, he's taken it as his own. He's, he's a vocal guy. He's a, 
he's an emotional guy out on the field, and he plays hard. So, you know, you'll see him on big play. He's the first one to the ball every time, beating the receivers, beating everyone down to the field. I mean, he weighs 300, 300 pounds, and he's running like a 4 five forty down the field to get to the ball. That's how much he loves it, and that's infectious to the rest of the team. And then Tick, you know, Tick's just a stud. You know, man a few words, does his job right, plays aggressive, plays physical. And so, you know, watching those two really step into different – kind of roles of leadership because they are older guys and trying to get the newer guys around them a whole lot better. It's been a joy to watch. All right, Coach, Justin Thompson, WKU Arrow. You guys have one of the best offensive lines in the country last season. How important was it for you guys to keep that intact from the quarterback? Uh, how important was it for us to keep the offensive line to get a new quarterback? Uh, well, you know, I mean, quarterbacks want to know whenever you're, you're recruiting quarterbacks, hey, because – Quarterbacks, they they know that the offensive line is the most important part, right? Nothing can happen without them. And so whenever you're recruiting a quarterback, one of the first questions they ask is, how's your offensive line look? And it was easy easier for us to say, hey, you know, we got the best center in the country returning. We got, you know, Tick, who was all-conference last year. We got experienced guys who have played ball who are going to step in. We got some really talented talented guys who are going to grow into that role. So being able to keep that offensive line intact really did make quarterback recruiting a little bit easier because we didn't, we didn't in a sense, have to, <laughs> lack of better words, lie to anyone, say oh, our offensive line's great, and then be bad because we got to tell them the truth. So I don't know if that answered your question or not. But. Yeah, it was a it was a big adjustment at first. You know, you're going into the season thinking maybe you'll get 15, 20 snaps to like, okay, now you're gonna go play them all. So it really helped me get some experience for this year. I feel more confident when I'm playing now. I feel like the game slowed down. So overall, I just it's I'm really looking forward to this season for it. So. Joey, touching on that, you know, as you look forward to this season, you're obviously gonna play a bigger role as a tight end. You know, with blocking and catching. You know, how much of a lead do you see yourself being with everyone else on that tight end offensive line position? I wouldn't say leader, like vocal, but I feel like I lead on the field by example. You know, I'll go hit someone really hard, they fall over, and everyone gets fired up. So kind of playing off that, like, as a leader was something I do more than vocalize it. Like, how's it been with the new quarterbacks? How have they been for you? It's been great. Honestly, like you can put a wall up, and I don't know who's throwing because they're all great. So, stuff. What's your relationship like with Josh? Um, that healthy this fall, and I guess I feel like you guys complement each other's games. Josh is great. You know, he's taught me things that I didn't even think about, and then I've taught him things to add to his game. You know, I think we play off each other really well, and I'm excited to play with them this season. Yeah, uh, being a walk-on stuff, you know, you're going to get very limited opportunities and you got to make the most out of them. So, uh, like last year, I was thrown in the start and roll, you know. And you, when you get those opportunities, you can't mess them up. You know, you got to take it and run with it. And just probably carry myself to this season, playing off what I did last year. Ready.